All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Lori, also known as the Crafty Lady, and we are opening the May Cora Crea Crafts uh, Vintage Craft Supplies Monthly Box. And so I am going to open this. I've been holding on to these for a few months because I wanted to do them on stream or at least on YouTube videos, so we're doing them. And if you have any questions, please post those in the chat or once they're uploaded to YouTube, please post them there in the comments and I will answer all the questions that you ask as to the best of my abilities. So we have the, what did I say this one was? This is the May box, May 2022. And we have, um, this is the Art Deco Art Nouveau box. So the description for this one is there will include it will include a beautiful set of round topper clear stamps, large newspaper bags full of themed illustrations, an Art Nouveau floral frame stamp, an Art Deco pattern foil washi tape, and more. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. I just saw on the back of this one. Okay, so for this box, she always puts in the card for this. This is your Art Nouveau Art Deco box, so that's what it has. But then she gives you a, a note as to what's in the next box. And um, the June box is, is the Explorer one, and it's got specimen notepad, temples of the jungle, washi tape, uh, adventure foam stamps, Explorer washi tape, Explorer clear stamps, and more. That one's supposed to be really cool too. So now I can't wait to get to that one, but let's give the Art Nouveau one a chance first uh, before we jump into the next one. All right, all right, let's get this out of the box. And there's a cat in the way, so the box is gonna have to go this way this time. And we will see what we have. What do we get to spoil ourselves with this time? Okay, so Art Deco Art Nouveau apparently includes, oops, where's my white paper? I'm gonna need white. Um, Art Deco stickers with funky ladies from what it looks like the 1920s. So is the 1920s considered Art Deco? I'm, I'm guessing that's what, you know, this is saying. <laughs> All right, is this focusing or not? There we go. Now it's starting to focus. Uh, just don't like the glare. All right, so we've got several ladies in definitely like um, 1920s outfits, the flapper era. Um, but there's some cool framework too, framework uh, stickers too. Now, now these are stickers, um, so you would need to put your stamp, like your your lettered stamp, whatever on your page first and then put this on top of it because uh, I'm not sure too, ma too many uh, inks will stick to this and stay. So just bear that in mind. But they're funky with all this gold foil on them. I'm sorry if I'm blinding anyone with the glare. But okay, so that's these stickers. I'm gonna set these over here so they're not causing too much of a glare. We have, huh, a block stamp that is flowers and just says vintage, which is, I don't know, does that really go with Art Nouveau Art Deco? We'll have to see, but it's cool because it's it's got a little uh, opening in it. So you would be able to put something, you know, in behind there on, on the page or within it once you have it on the page. Like for example, putting, you know, He's a little too big for it, but you know, my little sparrow dude that I saved from the last box. It's an option, um, or you could even put a word, but it's already got vintage, so unless you wanted to cover up the word vintage somehow. But I'm, I'm just kind of a, a little confused with, you know, the Art Deco, Art, Vint or Art Nouveau subject and, and this being in here. So we'll see. We'll see how it plays out with the rest of it. Let's do the washies. Okay, so we have, um, I don't know, what is your definition of, what would you think your definition is or your idea of Art Nouveau, Art Deco? 
Is it different than this? I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it after seeing the, the flapper ladies. It's just a little bit different. All right, washi tape we have. So it looks like very ornamental framework, um, almost like lacy patterns. Okay, where's the end? Can I find the end? Somewhere here. So we have oops, washi stickers here. We've got different, um, trying to see if this will focus for the camera. So we've got different stickers, different images. Um, I think that kind of looks like an angel and flowers and that. So kind of not sure how this is Art Nouveau Art Deco, but you know what? I'm going with it. So there's where the, the stickers start to repeat. So we have all of these to choose from and, and there's little spots within some of them that you can write or put a word or um, maybe another stamp of some sort, but it, and it, it's kind of muted tones, which is nice. There's browns and golds and creams and, and greens. So almost like a, a pale sage green. So that would work with a lot of, a lot of vintage stuff. So, you know, it should be interesting. Ooh, okay, this is super shiny. Wow, I almost blinded myself picking this one up. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely goldy glitter, more what I would consider Art Nouveau. Oh, shiny, oh, hell, heck yes. All right. Ooh, plastic stuck to me. All right, where is, there's the end. Wow, that is like glitter bomb. <laughs> Check that out. I'm trying not to blind the camera. That is some shiny. <laughs> it caught your eye straight away. Wow. And it's kind of like flecked. I don't know if the camera actually, can you see it? It's kind of like a flecky gold in there. Wow, that's bright. All right. Oh, yeah, that's gonna show up wherever you put it. And there's a lot of it. As with any of these boxes that I've opened up already, there is a lot of washi tape. These these rolls are packed. They're, that's gonna do you a long time. It, it definitely not something that you're gonna go through after one or two uses. That is some shiny gold. <laughs> Okay, so what do we got here? We have, looks like papers, probably stickers. And, okay, so here's a hint for you, Esma, because I know you're following along with me here. A lot of the background packaging in a lot of packages that you get, whether, you know, it's this one or something else, watch for it because all of a sudden you've got a new collage page that you can use. Um, as, as a journal card or a note card or, or you know, a background page or even a pocket. You can make this like a flip out. You could put a little tab on here with washi tape and make it a flip out on one of your pages. So, you know, watch for the background packaging because a lot of times it's just as beautiful. Another one of those things we don't throw away. Exactly. Okay, so within this package that I just opened, we have a, a bunch of stickers. Um, they're, they're paper. I don't think, hold on, they're not um, translucent, but uh, they are, they're, they're not completely opaque. So, you know, you, you do have some see-through ability there, but uh, they are stickers. So you've got those and we've got a selection here. Uh, they look very similar to what's in the washi tape. So th there's like a lot of different patterns. Apparently Art Nouveau is all about patterns and textures and that, which, you know, I don't find bad. And uh, the the color scheme is very muted too. So it's muted pinks and pale purples and um, sage greens and stuff like that. So there's some really interesting uh, pieces in here, but it's all stickers. 
So you can cut them apart, you can tear them apart if you want a, an edge. There's a nice vase or vase, depending on where you are and how you pronounce it. Um, but then flower packets. These would be great on, on pockets. And there's some that, you know, it's a circle that's cut off, so you could put it... You know what? It's Art Nouveau. You could do anything. You, you could have it upside down if you wanted. It wouldn't matter. But, you know, it. this looks like a stained glass window. So does this one, or part of a stained glass window. They're actually kind of cool. And it, it, to me, it reminds me of, like, the mosaic tiles and that that are in um, some of the, the European places um, where you will see, you know, the tiles on the walls and the floors are just very detailed like this. That's kind of what it reminds me of. All right, so that's that one. It was, and, and then here's some more. It's just loose pages of vellum. Uh, they're not stickers, so you'll have to tape these down or glue them down. But same sort of thing, really nice patterns very um very muted so they're not like bright bright up uh, you know like, but put it next to the gold and you've got your brightness <laughs> all right so these are cool with uh, cool with um it's like a bluey teal color um and then the yellow flowers with it which is is actually a nice combo i like those and then and then we have a whole bunch of stamps. Esme, look at these. We got all kinds of stamps and they're round and ovals. You could put these anywhere. You could even make your own like stampy stamps, you know, so it looks like postage stamps. Um, look at the uh, detail in these. Okay, so this one actually says Exposition Nationale 1893 and then Boutique du para para plui a accessory okay so that's umbrellas and accessories um so there's some really cool stamps in here um especially with you know the wreaths the different circles cora crea's got her little stamp right there um number and then the butterfly stamps uh paris 1890 to 1910 the oval wreaths uh the crown um, now, is that separate? Here we go. Let's check. Ooh, no, no, is it? No, it's all one. Okay, so the stamp is, it's all one. Um, but there are some interesting stamps. So yeah, you could make your own stamp. So you could stamp, you know, like a picture of, for example, like the, the sparrow, a stamp, something like that on something, get some hash lines go through it, and stamp one of these on top of it, then it's gonna look like a postage stamp. So, you know, you could do all kinds of things. Or just adding some detail to something that, you know, didn't have a whole lot of detail to begin with, like, you know, something like this. Like, these are really intricate. I like these ones. So there's a lot you can do. They've got the fleur-de-lis here with some splotches and some cross-hatching. Um, flowers. Like I said, the Exposition Nationale, and then some wreathy type ones, plus the flower one. I, I, I like just the individual flower ones. They, they come in handy. So, definitely a, a, a big bonus on having that many round stamps available. Those are really cute. Okay, and then, ooh, ooh. Okay, so, um... You know how we like the tissue paper? Holy, okay, wow. Um, we have a bunch of pages here, three. Uh, frames, flora, and figures. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all this in the camera. So we have all of these images and this is all on like newsprint so it's all like art deco you can see all these different images that you could cut out and you could put them on note cards you can put them i know there it's like a newspaper almost it's huge um big pages definitely 
so that you've got all of these images that you can use and they're big and they're cut out now I, I, I'm, I don't know about copyright and all that with these sort of things, but I don't see why you couldn't take a couple of these and put them on your photocopier and take copies of them and even shrink them if you want it smaller for like a journal page, you know, before you cut these out on your own. But okay, so that's the first page. There's nothing on the back, but then here's the second page, Art Nouveau art deco so smooth curves graceful blends and dancing lines so we've got this lady and you know another one down at the bottom and then there's a whole description of art nouveau first came towards the latter half of the 19th century blah 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 a whole write-up on art nouveau and art deco so holy there's a lot to work with here and there's where <laughs> there's the where the gold stamp the washi tape came from there's the pattern for it and I have a cat trying to make her way into the camera um, but sleek streamlined symmetrical so that is something I would look at um, to see if maybe you know uh, say I wanted to use this image in one of my pages but it's too big for the actual page I would put this on my photocopier, photocopy it, shrink it down to the size that I want, and then use it. You know, so that's an idea. But as I said, I don't know if the, there would be any copyright issues with doing that because you're you're using it for your own personal use sort of thing. Um, and a lot of times, you know, that would be fine as long as, you know, you're not trying to resell these images. Usually that's where copyright issues would come into play. if. If I photocopied like this page and then tried to sell it, that would be wrong. But if I photocopied this, used it for my own journal page in a journal that I'm selling, then it, it, it would be usually fine. So just watch for copyright laws when it comes to that. But wow, that's, that's incredible. I've never seen something like that in a subscription box. That is really cool. And I love some of these boxes, which is why I'm saying I would probably, you know, photocopy these or, or you know, copy them onto like cardstock and use them in my journals. I really like that. And I love that one. Look at that one. Holy, lots of options in here. And even just having something like this on a corner or even this that looks like a, a wrought iron drawing. Those are awesome. Those are really incredible. Okay, so that is, that is, that, you know what? And seriously, I was kind of not looking forward to the Art Deco Art Nouveau box because I was thinking that it wouldn't really have stuff that I would like, but honestly, I really love it. I love the selection. And that was, that is an incredible find. I, I did not expect that. And you know, these stamps, those are gonna get a lot of use. Those really will get a lot of use. And I love these little pages with the little stickers. Those are perfect. And that stamp, I don't know that it's Art Nouveau, but you know what, there is a lot of flowers. Um, yeah, it does have some good vintagey stuff. You are right, Esme, it really does. Um, and the flowers does kind of fit in with the theme because if you look at you know, the flower themes here. Almost all of it has got flowers. It's, it may be called Art Nouveau and Art Deco, but a lot of it is flowers. It's, it's really interesting. So that is the, good Lord, what month am I at? That's the May, right? Um, yeah, that's the your April box, the next one, the May box. So that is the May box for Cork Crea Crafts. And I actually really do like that. So with that, um, I will post all the links in the description so that you can check out Cora Crea Crafts yourself. Um, and I'm hoping, you know, you have some fun on your crafting journey. I'm, I'm probably gonna end this stream and, and you know, uh, edit these videos and get them on my, my YouTube uh, channel. And I will post all the information there so that you can check it out for yourself. 
and then I think I will do another stream later for the other what do I have June July August I have three more boxes to unbox but um, I need to take a break I've been on here for a couple of hours so I thank you for joining me I've really enjoyed that and I have enjoyed sharing opening these boxes with you and the surprise of it all it's always so fun and I will see you again later. <laughs>